Taiwanese military now in full alert after China continues to insist on the country's sovereignty. In order to prepare the strength for the worst possibilities with the Panda country, Taiwan also won the title war training. Battle training on Wednesday, 7 29 2020, feels different by Taiwanese military. This is because from a distance or offshore, seen two suspicious ships that continue to monitor their training. After careful investigation, it turned out that the two ships were Chinese reconnaissance vessels. It turns out that Chinese secretly conducted espionage or spying, while the Taiwan military was carrying out firing exercises. The presence of two Chinese military spy ships has angered Taiwan military officials. They immediately took a decision quickly to dispel the Chinese spy ship. The event of espionage and the chase of the Chinese ship was revealed by the Taiwanese in one of the local news agencies. On that day, indeed, the military branches of the island nation bordering China were carrying out direct shooting exercises at the Jiaping military base. Precisely in the Pintung southeast region, where the country's main missile system will be tested, according to reports from local sources. The weapons fired were indeed at the beach base consisting of anti-ship missile missiles, Xiongfeng 2 and 3 Dot, and anti-tactical ballistic missiles Gen Kung Ian-3, including US-made Harpoon missiles, Patriot Pac-2 missiles, and Standard 1, SM-1, missiles. A series of military warfare exercises is indeed part of the series of Taiwan's Han Kuang exercises. Taiwan's Han Kuang is the largest annual battle game involving all armed forces held every July 23 to 27. But on Wednesday, the Taiwanese military observed strange movements from two ships seen off the coast near their military base. It turned out that the two ships belonged to the Chinese military disguised as civilian ships. The two spy ships sailed about 40 miles at sea from Orchid Island, which is east of Tating County. On Wednesday morning, just before the missile training began, the two ships were again seen around the location and approaching the island of Angrek. This also angered Taiwan military officials who received reports of espionage from the foreign ship. Suspicion arises because the spy ship seemed to be gathering intelligence about the weapons and missile systems used during shooting exercises there. Because the weapon system at the base is a simulation of Taiwan's counter-attack when China invades by sea. Not wanting the weapon system to be known by China with the two vessels known to be spies, the Taiwan military was mobilized to dispel the enemy. Patrol ships of the same class as Jingqiang were sent close to the two Chinese spy ships. This ship has an electronic weapon system that is sophisticated enough, which can monitor certain deradius vessels and damage the ship's communication system so that it cannot obtain certain intelligence information. The preparations are intended to ensure the projection of the strength of U.S. aircraft carriers is ready, capable, and functioning if needed to launch coordinated combat operations in the area. The Navy commander refers to special efforts to maintain readiness in the very hot region, referring to the current U.S.-China tensions. This is a great opportunity for us to practice together in complex scenarios, Rear Admiral Doug Verissimo, commander of the Carrier Strike Group, CSG, 9, said in a Navy report quoted by the National Interest. By working together in this environment, we can improve our skills and tactical readiness in dealing with increasingly hotter regions and also in preventing the spread of virus. The attack group will support air defense exercises, naval surveillance, refueling at sea, defensive air combat training, long-range attacks, coordinated maneuvers, and other exercises, according to an explanation in the Navy statement. This type of operation can expand the Navy's ability to attack targets, extend target search time, and allow coordinated multi-platform attacks. Operations can also increase the dexterity of destroyers and cruisers to launch missile attacks. Each attack group consisted of aircraft carriers, cruisers, and two destroyers. It is a large and integrated combination of assets launched by the sea. For example, a destroyer can launch a Tomahawk missile at a predetermined land target. The missile launch was carried out to soften or prepare the ground target area to be approached by F-18 or F-35C fighter jets. At the same time, destroyers can protect aircraft carriers from ballistic missile attacks or even intercept enemy jet attacks with SM-3, SM-2 or SM-6 missile. 
In addition, as part of this weapon configuration, destroyers and cruisers are armed with electronic warfare, U systems, lasers, and various air defense systems, such as CRAM, rolling airframe, close-in weapon systems, and devolved Sea Sparrow missile, ESSM, to fight anti-ship missiles. With this tactical combination, it seems clear, a multi-ship network with integrated command and control will be needed to optimize offensive and defensive battle options. One ship in the fleet might use radar to identify distant targets before passing on information to other ship commanders. This type of network operation is increasingly likely to occur along with technological developments. What's more, the Navy is in the process of using far more sensitive radars, new attack systems, weapons and remote sensors, and more targeted missiles, which can change direction after launch. Maritime Tomahawk, for example, is a weapon capable of destroying moving targets. The massive development of the missile expands the attack options of the ship's commander. Not only can the Tomahawk destroy fixed ground targets from a distance of 900 miles, but it can also attack moving surface ships from the same distance. In addition, the ability to hit moving targets is now possible with other deck weapons, such as ESSM-2 or SM-6. As such, the ship commander has various options for conducting war in the open sea against moving surface ships. They can also intercept attacks targeting fighter jets, which are vulnerable to counterattacks from enemy ships.